Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome back to Benson Road. Uh, in this part of the How to Build a Model Railway series, we'll be painting the baseboards and laying the track. So, let's get started. So before you start painting the baseboards, you will need of course some paint, a brush and some water. Uh, I'm using this Crawford and Black uh, Burnt Umber acrylic paint. Um, I've had this for uh, quite a few months now, but I got it uh, at a pound on uh, clearance on Black Friday. Uh, you can usually get it for about uh, two pounds, um, but I got it at half price, so we can add that to the total, um, which brings us to 21. And then we, I also had this bit of white paint lying around. I'm not sure how much I bought it for, um, but it, just to lighten the, uh, the brown to more of a soil colour. You'll also need a probably, preferably a two inch uh, or even one inch uh, paintbrush. This is just a Harris ones, uh, just a decorator's brush. You can pick them up from most hardware stores or even the Poundland, um, but it's nothing fancy. You'll also need some water to rinse the brushes out and thin down the paint. Um, but just keep it in a jar. So, once the baseboard has dried, which it now has, um, we can now hammer down our track. Now you might have noticed that this end and the end over here is overhanging from the baseboard. Uh, don't worry about this yet as we will cut that down. Um, but we just need to uh, tack the track down with the track pins um, so it's held in place. So let's get started. So for when you're tacking down your track, you of course need some track pins. These cost me 50p. Um, so that brings the total up on the railway to £21.50. Uh, you also need a hammer and uh, this screwdriver. Um, I've just used a flat headed one because it really helps when guiding the nails in. Uh, it doesn't damage it at all but preferably an old one that, that, uh, that you will not use anymore. So all you're going to do is just place the uh, track pin in like so and you'll fit it in and before you get to the rails uh, so you don't stop uh, you stop uh, so you don't hit it and then you put the a screwdriver on top and then you just hit on the top of the screwdriver and it uh, is bashed in. Make sure it doesn't is, isn't hit more than the height of the hyper, cause, uh, the sleeper sorry, because otherwise it will crush the sleeper and it will damage the track. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse that I did there of me hammering down all the pins. I cut it short because it would have taken ages, uh, but it took me 20 minutes in the end. It's actually quite relaxing. Uh, but you can see that I've now installed buffers uh, just on this siding and these two down here. Uh, I got these for free, so these don't uh, deduct the cost or anything of the £21.50. Um, we've still got £38.50 left, which is great, which means we can spend a bit on scenic items. Um, I'm probably going to be using a mixture of flock and static grass um, but I'm not entirely sure yet so stay tuned. Uh, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed uh, part two of how to build a model railway under 50 quid. Um, so thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in part three.